When you start your Pokemon game, you go to Route 1. And Route 1 has the common pattern of a 3 stage flying type, a 3 stage bug type, a 2 stage normal type, a 2 stage dog Pokemon, and a 2 stage dark type. The last two are less or were less of a pattern in the beginning stages of Pokemon, but they are still there nonetheless. That's a lot of Pokemon to do in one video, so I'm separating that video into two parts. The three stage flying type, the three stage bug type, and the three stage, I mean, the two stage normal type will be in this video, and the dog Pokemon and the two stage dark type will be in the next. Okay, so enjoy the video. Okay, I know Hercules beetles aren't exactly based in Africa, but neither is the stag beetle in Hawaii, so I'm doing this. I wanted to do this in the first place for my original design, and once I found out the Hercules beetle wasn't in Africa, I was like, oh, do I have to change this? Then I looked up where Lycavolt lives, and it, and... Like the Bike of is based off the Stag Beetle, like Pinsir is. is. And the Stag Beetle isn't, is not in Hawaii either. So if, a, so if a Stag Beetle can be in Hawaii, then a Hercules Beetle can be in, in, where, in, in Africa. Okay, I named this thing Terra Marve because it's, it's Terra, which in, means ground. It's not a ground type but it digs in dirt uh, that shouldn't make it a ground type automatically because a lot of bugs dig like mar as in mass mass because it's pretty because it's kind of fat and they as in larvae hey because like, hercules beetle come from beetle larvae like, the thing about the th I didn't have any references as you'll notice because the thing about starter about start uh, about starting bug type Pokemon is that they're all different completely different to to each other there's no like fundamentals there's no nothing and the only fundamental is that all bug types are different from each other and and that man I had to do my own my own thing so I went so I winged it and did this the antennae are supposed to be based off of pickaxes because it mines ore and it eats the ore that it mines the real beetle larvae don't do this it's not that I'm aware of but it but they do but this terra marve does and the glow thing on the on the end of its tail I meant that as it's supposed to be a glow stick because it, when it travels through caves, it has that. I don't go in depth with that really much in the Pokedex description, but there you go. Here is Terra Marve. Pokemon. Terra Marve have a large layer of fat on their body due to how much they eat. However, this helps as when attacked, Terra Marve don't receive as much damage because the fat absorbs the majority of the attack. Terra Marve spends its time underground mining for ore to eat. Since most bug type designs are so simple, it was really easy to just make these designs on the fly. I spent I spent a lot less time on on the most of these designs in this video than I did on on any of the starter designs. I mean, those took up for like three hours. This just took an hour. It's either I'm getting better or these designs were just that easy. I wanted to go with this design because it it kind of reminded me of a minecart, or but it looked like some sort of boss that checks in on other people. Oh, and it checks it. Uh, and 
oh my gosh, I had so much trouble figuring out the color scheme for this. It took forever. I tried playing around with the hue scale a little bit, and that's when it finally worked. And, yeah. The story for this is it's a cannon. It can't move, and sometimes it'll use its cannon to move. It's called Cannon Coon, which is obviously a play on the words cannon and cocoon. So, hope you enjoy. The Cannon Pokemon. When Terra Mave feel that they are about to evolve, they will find a spot that is uninhabited by predatory Pokemon. Cannon Coon will use their cannon to shoot all sorts of attacks. In desperate situations, it will use its cannon to move. You guys know Ballistamon from Digimon. Because that's where I was going with this design. I was going Ballistamon. I wanted it to be a metal monster. Going for a metal monster because yeah, because look at the Hercules beetle. Oh, it's it's super cool looking. I, I mean, it's my favorite bug. Oh, it took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do with this design. So I wanted to get like a big, beast looking thing. But I wanted to get like a small, skill buff looking thing. While it doesn't have a cannon anymore, it still shoots lasers out of its head. It kind of looks like Eel from Ben 10. And the shiny definitely looks like Eel from Ben 10. And that's what you're going to see next. Also, I've been doing a better job with Pokemon shading. And this, and it looks pretty nice. Blastidle, the Hercules Beetle Pokemon. Blastidle will often protect Kanakoon they come across. They can shoot attacks from the top of their horn. Blastidle's body is completely made of metal, and this gives it such a sense of security, so much that, that it will willingly take attacks from other Pokemon. Blastidle will also fight other Blastidle for territory. I feel like it could have made Kanakoon look a little more like Terra Marve. Middle stage bug types don't look at all like the first stage other than like a few features. Here's like you could tell Dotler looks it is is evolves from Blit Bug. But yeah I like the design and I especially like these shinies. They are super cool. Instead uh, Hercules Beetle are like super strong Pokemon. I mean like no animals what why'd I say that? Uh, and I like the shading that I did with the uh, with the horn because it looks like something from Pokemon, and, and it kind of looks like Ben. It's, it still looks like Ben 10. It looks like Edel from Ben 10. I'll pull up a picture of Edel from Ben 10 so you guys know what I'm talking about. I was gonna go ballista on like, but let's get into the new design. Okay, I claim that this is a Warbler, but it's not. It looks like Flappy Bird. Or, I made this design a while ago because in sixth grade I made a I made like a few Pokemon in my hypothetical Gen 8 when when Gen 8 wasn't out yet. Yeah, I was working on it with a friend. And we eventually just lost touch and just never talked about it again. But this looks a lot like Flappy Bird. Third, I changed up the design a little bit. Those scars in the beginning, it, they were a part of the original design and now I, they're not. Uh, the point of this is that it it's it's a running bird and not a actual regular bird. Third, and I like the shading I do on this. It's, it's kind of hard to do the lighting when it's completely white, but not to sacrifice I'm willing to make. Also,
the Thief Pokemon. Warbur are poor flyers but exceptional runners. Warbur can reach speeds up to 55 miles per hour, and using this speed, they steal from people and Pokemon alike, often without being seen. The only time they are caught is when another Pokemon is faster, which is hardly ever the case. The team is designed off of the e, e, the e grid, which is a bird in Africa, and that's middle size, which is what most, which is what most stage two do bird Pokemon are. And I, it didn't end up looking like the e grid at all. Uh, um, it looked like a different bird Pokemon. I can't think of off the top of my head. I'll put it right here. Um, yeah, these designs looked awful, so I just went, so I just went with a design I, I was going with. But it, once I realized what I was doing wrong, I immediately went to the design that I really love, and I know you guys will really love. Uh, it looks so cool. Ugh. And it, I don't care if it looks nothing like an E-grade. It looks like an evolution to my Pokemon that I made, and I like it. Also, a pattern you will see with the rest of these Pokemon is that that the it's based on black. It's based on Taekwondo, where you have belts. belts um, Warbur is a green belt, um, and Egrick is a purple belt. I'm pretty sure purple is a hot is above is above green and the final form is a black belt okay. i call it egrick because it's based off an egrick which it's not technically based off of because it looks nothing like an egrick but egrick egret and and kick because that's what it's known for kicking i immediately he figured out a way to shade better it was like where, which, I kept telling myself which areas need shading, which areas need shading. And once I was out of areas, that's when I knew I was done shading. Egrick, the trainee Pokemon. When Warper seek to leave the life of a thief, they will find a powerful fighting type Pokemon willing to train him. Egrick can't fly, but they use their wings and legs to, to kick and slash at their opponents. Egrick's kicks are strong enough to paralyze even dragon type Pokemon. Secretary Bird. This is what completely changed the design I was going for, for the entire line. Look at this thing. I was originally going to base this off of Marshall Eagle. This one. And it kind of looks like a harpy eagle at the end, but it's based off of the secretary bird. The coolest looking birds ever. It can fly, but it doesn't. It chooses to walk on land, and it chooses to fight snakes, where it pretty much just beats the light out of the snakes. It's, that is cool, and I will not include that in my Pokedex, but it's cool. Well, I originally wanted a shorter piece, but I decided not to because it just complicated the design and I didn't know what to work with it in with. Uh, and these designs just came. Then this design just came so naturally that I didn't. That I didn't decide. That I just went with the first design that popped into my head. I didn't want to play around with the ideas. I was satisfied with this design. And, yeah, and it kind of looks like a harpy eagle. Eagle. Once I was done. But I decided not to change it up because it still looks cool. And I didn't do much reasonable shading because I accidentally almost did this horrible lighting thing with the right wing. But in the end, it looks really nice, and I'm surprised that it turned out this well in less than two hours. I expected this to be longer.
Terry, the snobbing Pokemon. Air and Terry can fly, but are mainly seen on land. When attacking, Air and Terry use their bone shattering kicks to beat the opponent into submission. Air and Terry normally eat poison and bug type Pokemon, but are immune to poison types of attacks. Air and Terry has a new ability called Combat Experience. When moves it need priority, Air and Terry will move will have priority. When moves don't require priority, Aaron Terry will go second. If this line was in was a real Pokemon, it would impact the competitive scene a lot, especially with its new ability. I thought of this new ability because sometimes I really want to use I really want to use use counter, but the, the Pokemon's too slow for me to do, use that counter, and it's my only fighting type move. This especially plot applies to rock types because rock types are super slow and you can never use counter on them um, if you when you want to. And sometimes you need a move that requires priority and the, that move won't and, the, and those moves won't work because you haven't had priority. And that's why I decided to do this. And these shinies look super cool. I I really just love them. The elephant shield, which is called for for pretty obvious reasons. I wanted it to be like a thief Pokemon, where it just where it steals, it also even houses. It, it does do that. Also, this looks too much like a too much like a real animal, and not enough like a Pokemon, in my opinion. But let me know what you think. This Pokemon is. Uh, is really cute. Is really cute looking at the end, and I decided, and that's when I knew its its second evolution would have to be really disgusting. This guy's and, so, and that's what I did. Right. Yeah, I went for these from the color I saw on the page because the regular the regular colors from the regular colors from from um, from from the Alpha Shoe kind of stuff. So I made it red and red and blue. I also gave it a pink tail because it's still shrew. When I think, and I'm pretty sure shrews are related to rats. Right. Yeah, I watched a lot of TV show shows without animals back then. The spray Pokemon. Spray you will steal food from houses and then spray the house with dust. Spray you will will use their nose to suck up up dust to clean their to clean up their dens. Due to this, they have no sense of smell. Yeah, when I said this design was disgusting, I was not kidding. I wanted to go full rat for this. Uh, in my opinion, Radica and Radicate aren't that disgusting looking. I know a lot of people don't like rats because they're they're pretty much a more ugly version of mouses. Because mouses are kind of cute, uh, unless you find them in your house, then they're not cute. Uh, I had to run around all day prepare for this design because because I I don't know I just get felt like I didn't want to draw and I did want to draw. Uh, I eventually end up going with the first, with the first design. I, if, I just, the, the, the thing on, on, um, Spray U's nose, it was, it was supposed to be shading, but it looked too dark to be shading, so I eventually, so I just decided to make it, make it a stripe on its nose, and that's what, that was on the third design and this what does this guy remind you of he reminds you of a, of like a person you'd see on a cartoon um, who's like a con man or homeless man or whatever 
Uh, he kind of reminds me of that, you know, the dad from Ratatouille. I mean, the rat dad from Ratatouille. Because I recently just rewatched Ratatouille. Here's the design. Spiderou the vacuum Pokemon. Spiderou have a tail that suck up anything, and will work with Spray You to clean their dens. Spiderou will also command Spray You to give it the food that Spray You stole in exchange for a home to live in. All right, here are the shinies. Now I am ready for something new. I I will continue this, but for right now, I want to do something new. What do you think of this? I'm